Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Yesterday I read a book called True Colors. This book wrecked me, you guys. It is about a family that grows up on a horse farm. The mom dies and the dad has to raise the three daughters. One daughter in particular has a really hard time. She's the youngest girl and she struggles through her life to find connection with other people, especially men. Finally, she falls in love, but it's with this man that nobody accepts. He's part Native American and part white. And he had a really rough past. His dad uh, was abusive and actually ended up killing his mom. But that's not why it wrecked me. He ends up going to jail in this movie for murder. And I just learned so much about myself in this book. And it's funny because the author in this book wrote the only other book that wrecked me this bad. So this author, man, she can write. I don't read a lot of her books. I only read the ones with topics that interest me. But, oh. Man, I read that book in 24 hours. It was a huge book and I cried so much. Oh, hi, Piggy. <laughs> oh, Piggy. Why are you wrecking the place? Are you cold? I feel like she's cold. It's cold out, even I need a sweater. I'm gonna have to knit you a sweater. You're gonna be a piggy in a sweat. Pigs and blankets, that's why. Oh, that's why, uh, so many in expressions. <laughs> What? What? Anyway, the hardest parts in the book, there were two hard parts for me in that book. I felt so emotional that she was strong enough to choose somebody that wasn't socially acceptable to her family and her small town. And I loved that she loved someone that wasn't perfect. That was like so emotional for me. Also, this man that went to jail, he loved a horse. Oh, this is the part that's gonna kill me. He loved this horse. And the horse, ow, the horse also, she's trying to get my attention by licking my leg. Stop. Look, what is the problem? You're not hungry, you're not starving, you just need love. So this woman that fell in love with this man that was broken also rescued horses and she rescued this horse and his name was Renegade. And he used to be like the dressage champion and he fell into the wrong hands and he had scars all over him too and he was beaten. So this horse, while this man went away to jail, he waited for him, like pined for him. And it just made me so sad and it made me realize like the kind of love that you can have between you and an animal, it doesn't only just come once in a lifetime but it only comes, that kind of a love only comes, comes along occasionally, I feel like. And I feel like Posey loves me so much. Like, she, she does love belly rubs and she does love food, but she, yesterday when I filmed, when she heard me and she knew I was near her and she just came running, I don't know. I just feel like, I just feel like Posey is that kind of a love. And I feel like Ellie is that kind of a love too, but Ellie's more, more independent. Little Posey girl, I feel like so much love from her. I feel like she would wait for me till the ends of time, you guys. I feel like that, and it just was so sad in the book. I also feel like Honey would wait till the ends of time for Sophie. I do, I just, I, she just loves her so much and gets so excited and wants to be with her so much. I wish you could be like that with every single animal that you got, that you had, but just like with people, connections are everything, and you don't always have the same connection with everybody that you know. But anyway, you should get the book if you want to read. If you're interested in something like that, then you should read it. It was really good, but it wrecked me. Like, it changed who I am because it made me realize who I am. It made me realize that I have great respect for love. I have great respect for people, all people. But I really respect people who choose their own journey above what other people want for them. Lots of times we get comments saying like, you should listen to us, we told you what to do. I don't know why you're not listening to us. And I challenge you guys to never just listen to other people. Find your own way, find your own journey. Listen to the people, take advice from people that you share morals with and that you, I, I heard this thing the other day and I thought it really made so much sense. And it was never listen to people that you wouldn't trade places with. And that made so much sense to me. But anyway, the book is amazing. Enough about the book. Let's get 
get to cleaning. Sam and the girls have gone into town and I wanted to take this time and clean up this area again before it gets bad. Are you following me? What the heck? <laughs> Are you following me? Come on, I'm gonna... Whoa, storm, don't chase my piggy. I really wanna go and sit and just hang out with my piggy. Just for 10 minutes. I just, I miss her. So if I miss her, I bet you she misses me too. Come here, sweet girl. Oh, you get, go. See, just when I wanna sit and be with my piggy, trouble arrives. Come on, posy pig, I'll protect you. Great, this is not a good spot to sit. Okay, I'm leaving. All right, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yes, you all want love. You all like love. I swear she goes in these bushes because she thinks nobody will hurt her. Come on, come on, let's go in here. Come on, posy, come on, baby girl. Come on, let's go away from those horses, come on. I swear, every time I walk away from her and just leave her like out in the barn or wherever, it, it, I feel like this knife to my gut. Even though I know she's safe and she's happy and she's busy out on the farm, and that's what she needs to be a healthy pig. <laughs> I just miss all the times I sat with her on the couch. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make Don't ever get a pig. Don't ever get a pig. Don't ever get a... My sister used to tell me, like, pigs are special. Pigs, like, love so hard. And I was like, I love that. I love pigs. Don't get a pig. Don't get a pig. Because your life will never be the same again. You'll always worry about them. Once that bond is forged, holy heck. Okay, this has turned into a super emotional video. <laughs> Not intentional, but apparently I'm having an emotional day. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I decided to put some hay over here because this is where she makes her little bed. So at least she'll have some place comfy to lay. Just like that, I found more eggs. I don't know what she has all this stuff in here. What the heck is that? Wow. I found more eggs, which I suspect are from the same spot that somebody just left them here. I actually love seeing the chickens and the turkeys up on the roof of the chicken coop. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> Look at that turkey fly. That's the big Tom up there. Can you do it? Can you do it, Tom? Come on. Oh, scary. Good boy. So, on the agenda for today, for me, is to uh, try and get this ready for winter. So what I decided to do was, I'm going to put a door here. So I put all the, I just screwed all this wood in here. And now I'm going to wire it up, frame it up, put a door, and clean all this up. And uh, I'm gonna build a structure here. I can actually probably use this stuff to build to build uh, fencing and stuff. Just the frames, I guess. And I have a bunch of poles that I can attach it to. And it's a possibility. 
I mean, I have all this and I have a huge pile um, in the middle in the middle field. There's a whole huge pile of this stuff. So I could use that. And I could also use all this stuff, take it all off. And use that too if I wanted to. But yeah, or either that or build a teepee. You could build a teepee with that stuff and have like a little tenting spot. But yeah, so this is all kind of cleaned up. Except for that post, which I'll have to get out. Man, this would be good if I can build it out a bit and then all the way down to the end be really good for the turkeys. We can have more than more than uh, three turkeys then. I got little Kirby with me. Anyways, come on Kirby, let's go. Another thing I have to do is I was gonna use this for the goat field, but look all the chickens like it. <laughs> That's their little roosting spot during the afternoon. I also went out and I went to get grain and uh, saw a skid place and they had these and I thought oh, these would be great little frames I'm not sure maybe a door put two together it could be a whole walled screen so I got a bunch of them today I tried something new Gabby loves when I make caramel sauce I made goat milk caramel sauce all summer and she loved it it was amazing I'm saving my caramel my goat's milk to make soap this winter but today I mastered three ingredient caramel for all the apples that we got at the um, apple orchard. Gabby's been already eating it. It is so good. Tomorrow is back to school, so I'm trying to like get things ready, make some fun things for them. So we have babies inside and babies outside. So we have been storing, so we've been storing the food inside. So we have to take it out bucket by bucket. So Sophie's gonna go and feed those. <laughs> feed the baby chicks. If you literally they can't eat their food they can't eat the chicken food from out here to eat it they have to climb back in there and I know they can they can climb up on the roof go back over there and go back where they can get into the food but instead yeah my turkeys just fly right over <laughs> yeah anyway isn't this cool Sam told me that he got all these frames and he's like yeah I'm probably gonna make something for the chickens and I'm like the chickens we need a goat we need a goat uh, gate we need a new goat gate well, what a sight I missed it <laughs> I love watching them all just run out and be wild so uh, today there's a goat in labor no not a goat in labor none of our goats are pregnant but today a goat is in heat another goat and she's been ramming the gate she can't get through Sam did fix it the goat they're all upset the whole boy field is in a tizzy the boy pig is trying to breed the goats they're ramming him with his horns not hard just gently um but they all are like in a tizzy the girl that's in heat is ramming the fence the buck is ramming the fence they can't get out everyone's unhappy today on the day by day farm hormones on a farm are crazy yeah she's not laying on them i know they're not going to hatch anyway because if the eggs all go under the hen at the same time and then some of them don't hatch, it means they're not fertile. Do you want to crack them? Sure. I literally love collecting eggs every day. There are always so many nests all over the place. Sam, what about a goat barn gate? Yeah, for between the boys and the girls. Oh, are you getting a gate today? I love those. I don't know what to use these for, but I mean, you could make a greenhouse for me. Could be a greenhouse. If I take one apart, I could add more, and this could be like a roost. Yeah, that's true. See? It's a nice width. It's like a roost. Yeah. You're picky though. But I really want a gate. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one. Sam says that that gate is too weak for the goats and it probably is. I'll show you. I did a big clean up over here today. Cleaned up all this area. All right, so this is this is where we need the gate. But so Sam took this gate down. Actually, the goats took this gate down and it is pretty battered. But we have this, but we have two big gates along here that they can't get out and they can't breathe through it because it's too gates thick and there's about that much space in between but this girl here she's not very happy with us because she wants <laughs> she wants the boy oh there's my posy <laughs> so so 
So this is my plan for breeding season. So this is the buck. And we have two different areas. Oh gosh, here we go again. That little pig in there, he's so confused. He knows everybody's in heat and he wants some action. <laughs> no, that boy is. <laughs> Boy, well, the boy's not in heat, but all the goat the goats are in heat, and he can tell. Well, stick with your pigs. We don't want any goat pig pig. Today, I saw a comment that said that you can't add pigs together after they're mature, like after o they're older, and you absolutely can. You just have to go about it a really slow way, and we've, in fact, been doing that already. They, we let them see each other through the fence whenever they want to. Oh, they know each other. Well, is like a perfect goat. She's, she's not, not that friendly. friendly. Okay, but like, look at her. She's adorable. She right? is beautiful. Like, beautiful. she is beautiful. Gabby, name the goats. Name Are you goats. really a day by day family member if you can name the goats? Name the short one. Okay, watch out, Sophie. Let's see. Uh, she's going to name them. That's Posey the pig. Yep. I'm going to name them all. One, two, three, four, and five. There's seven of them, Sam. Okay, Gabby. Five girls. What's the black one? That one? Yeah. Cricket? Yep. What's that it's the one? brown one. Fudge? <laughs> I don't know, it's a stupid name like that. Like brownie or something. No. Are you saying that because that's what you think it is or that's what you think it should be? No, that's what it is. It was a dumb name like brownie or something. Like Blossom? Or fudge. Oh. No, what's Mocha. Good? You're thinking of her mom, Mocha. She's oh. gone. Yeah. All right. One out of two so far. What's that one? The small one? I call her gazelle, but she's healthy. She does look like a gazelle. What's that one? That one. She just told you. <laughs> Lola. Lola, yep. Yeah. What's, what's the distant one? Granny. That's the granny. What's her name, Gabby? She's going to have four babies hazelnut this year. <laughs> hazelnut. <laughs> Why do you think hazelnut? I don't know. <laughs> I love the name hazel, though, for a goat. That is Tilly. Oh. Extra points if you can name the boys. Is Buddy Spot in Knackers or Knockers, whatever? <laughs> Winston and Ziggy. And, and Snickers. Snickers. And Knackers. I like saying Knackers. It's fun. So, all right, Gabby, you'll name the next baby goat. Gabby, says, mine. No Gabby mine. says all the name baby goat names suck. Look at that. But look, we did it, you guys. He has to fix thing. this. How come you didn't take that fence all the way down? Like, it just looks awful. It's, it's off. I know. Why don't you put it away? I just have to block the bottom off. The oh, bottom, because... the bottom is all... Yeah. So, over here, there's, like, a little tiny bit of a hole underneath there, and he thinks that they yeah, can... I just want to block it off so they don't go underneath it. Yeah. All right, so we are nailing no, life. It's already on. It's we are nailing farm life. My plan for breeding season, which starts in one month, oh, I feel rain, um, is that when it's time to start breeding, I'm going to put all the girls that I'm going to breed, I'm going to leave them where they are and put the buck in with them. I'm going to take all the baby girls out and put them with the. Um, with Winston because he can't get them pregnant so we'll have them all split up and we'll probably do it for a month maybe two months and see what happens but yeah it's almost breeding season I got it all planned out he said he's half her size so what's wrong with short men short game. nothing as long as he can get the job done we don't care how short he is <gasps> oh what in the world Love how you jumped away. <laughs> well she was coming for me anyway this is the last night of before school and it makes me sad because I love having them both home all the time I don't like I, I just I no, I love it I like you being home anyway that is it for today's video we're gonna go in and have dinner and we'll see you guys tomorrow we're on even extra sad